Now it's time for our keynote speakers. First up, we have Shafiqul Islam from Bangladesh, and he's uh, actually calling in today from Germany. Um, and so he's going to talk to us today about his work with Wild Mentor and how citizen science data can be used in research. So, Shafiq, Shafiqul, Safi, yep. are you ready? Yep, yep. Can you see my screen? Yes, um, we see you. Oh, okay, I'm just sharing my screen. Wait a second. Um, yeah, you just press the green share screen button at the bottom, and mm -hmm. then you should be able to share your screen. Wait a second. I'm sorry. No worries. <laughs> Yay. <clears throat> right, there I'm, we go. Can, yeah, thank you. So, thank you, guys. All of you are here. I'm just starting to talk on this topic. So, so I, will, I will describe just like how hard it is to develop a very small project in Bangladesh and how, how like how we are working, which stage we are now, and you know, let's talk about it later. So, so if I want to back what we are doing, just collecting the data, what is happening last 100 or couple of hundred years, like collecting data, what is species is it? Before that, we are just writing the scientific name, whatever it is, like tabulating the data. And nowadays, people want to do that because we are lazy. You know, all of new lazy guys, they're taking pictures or they're calculating in their phone. Uh, so in my, just wait a second, I need to just switch on, just like clicking off. Okay. So if you ask me, just comparing two, two signs, I can just for, from my personal word, I just use the dry signs and digital. You can see, hello, you can see, just if I go a little bit farther, what scientists are doing, they're just calculating 3D modeling. If you want to describe a species, they need to describe new species and other things. If I go outside, what people are doing, they're just playing Pokemon Go, what kind of things, like this kind of game. But the output, ultimate output from the science, we are writing the book, PhD thesis, whatever it is, to the library. But if I look the people, what they are doing, Pokemon Go or other games, they're just playing and then in the end, oh, we did these things and we have, we got some points and we got some these things and this level. So behind the scene, if we look how they're like, how their brain is working in the both cases, they have ultimate output. One ultimate output is we are writing thesis or research and one output is like just for fun. And my idea when I started this project, it's, in 2012, even earlier, idea was, is it possible to combine this kind of thing, not only the games and the people are doing fun, can we just describe some science in the funny way? That's our idea. And not only that, in this case, we wanted to work in the time I, wor I was working in Bangladesh. So we wanted to see how we can connect more people, those are not in science, not in the school, outside of this school. That's our idea. So how, where, whom, is it feasible or not? So in that sense, we started this kind of project. That's our uh, like core, I can say it's a core structure. So we wanted to design a device things or ultimate things. And in the middle, it will be like biodiversity monitoring and virtual world. We don't want to develop something like an industry, whatever it is, it will be virtual things. What is it? All of you are already know that how citizen science is working. So in the collaboration of conservationists, this conservation awareness. So we wanted to visualize and public and scientist relationship place, but it should be virtual. And this data we can implement in the policy makers, conservationists, and others. So we want to develop this kind of virtual world. That's the idea. And from that sense, we just developed this project for Bangladesh. I think some of you already know my country, very small country in Southeast Asia. And and question is very straightforward. When I started this project, I asking some of my colleagues from my personal resource, like personal connection, where uh, and they're asking why we are selecting Bangladesh, not other countries. So idea was very straightforward. We have, right now, I can tell you, it's a 180 million, not 160 million. So we have active mobile devices, 140 million phone. It's a really huge number. So idea behind that, is it possible to do something with the mobile phone? 
and and all of you know already uh, bangladesh is very close to china you know so very like if you spend 50 euros you can buy a smartphone so smart device smartphone we can if we can work with smartphone then it will really work and then and then question another question i can just tell you just with like before while mentor we didn't have this kind of app and it's a developing country and we already have two percent of the species already extinct and 25 percent 24 percent species are endangered so idea behind of that population endangered means nature use a smart device and we of course we have enough people my friends and other colleagues those can help develop this project and then we started this project and then i just say why it is the logo i can just very interesting information for all of you we did a survey how many percentage like we did a survey around 82 people plus minus and then we ask one question what you did today morning so just we ask them can you tell us the national animal name correctly we found plus minus 80 percent people said wrong just think about the depth of the nature knowledge so we just say okay so it was not a big thing but of course if you should know the national animal name what it is right so we found this interesting i was like oh okay we should take it as our uh, logo and that's why logo is like that so and then it's this is our website www.wildmentor.org or wildmentor.de whatever you can see and then we just like started to work this project so how first our first project how it was i can just show you you know the duration is open so this is our interface you can just open this app and you can see randomly the animal and then you can just if you click like that can you see my mouse can you see okay so it was the idea if you click on that then you can see the description of this species okay so and then we tried to develop the map it's uh, i think i am talking now 2014 not now we tried to google map and this that way but it was really like that because we didn't have idea how we can develop it by r right now and of course we had a two button here so for one button like you can see the different stages of the animal and another button how many species you can see so another one is how many the same species what you saw the picture like same species the collecting data in citizen science so, and then we wrote a script in r if you give a data here it will automatically store this kind of map in the behind the scene like or if you asking we can just give it free or you can see in the screen theoretically it is worked but as i mentioned here theoretically it is worked but practically no it's not possible but of course we have a code and other things also people had a different groups they can go like different families and they have a own profile and so on and here yeah, then in the first year we released this project and then we had 281 users i can say like day by day they're losing their energy and in the end it was like only 20 or 30 people and we and then in the end of the year we revised our project this is one of my friends he's working in a smithsonian and lmu and he said surely it's not possible and he just discussed how we can go so idea behind of that it's not possible this is not working people don't want to give the data and they don't want to stay this kind of things this is completely failed project then we just started our project completely zero again completely zero we even we just like i can just say i mentioned here when we saw just after one year only 30 people are staying with us among 280 people we had to start from the zero even we couldn't use our interface completely zero so even i can say paid people we had some paid people some people non-paid non-people non-paid people left with paid people so no at seven to eight people are existing so i can just mention here two people so this guy is from toronto university of toronto this guy from smithsonian this guy university of munich and i'm from also munich and some people from Bangladesh, IPS university they are staying with us so then other countries people and then i just try to collect uh, like contacting with other people from like italy usa spain germany and others 
they are just helping me. Okay, I need this and that. They help me. And then we just say, okay, let's go for big scale. And then we did a survey with my, with my university, previous university, Jagannath University, Bangladesh, some of my friends, some of my younger university students, and they helped me to do this kind of research. What kind of thing people need? Because why people left us? That's my big question when, after releasing this project. And then we found completely different result. What is people are doing outside of the country? That means like some people has an interest with birds, some people with reptile, and some people has a both interest, you know, one place, some people don't want to give that. It's really, really crazy results. And I think uh, two guys are here today from my university, Salauddin and Jail. I don't know they're listening or not, but they're here. So, and then we designed completely new interface. Completely, this is the new interface what is existing in Google Play Store. That means people, even people don't want to click on the app. I, I can just give, tell you one interesting thing. We found those people just download, they don't know what is the app. And then if it is, it takes five clicks, they just say goodbye. Just think about it, they just say goodbye, I don't want. If you're asking, can you register? Just say goodbye. If you're asking, give me the data, goodbye. It's keeping the people and these kind of things, it's really getting tough. And anyway, and then some people don't understand, they say, oh, English, I don't care, I need Bangla. Bengal, even their scientists, or they're in my areas. So we had to develop our multilingual, it's a mother language and English. And of course we use phonetics because some all the people cannot correctly just write the species name, Bengali and English, and so we develop it. And of course, in this group, and one interesting question is, we had before this at the top part on different families, people couldn't detect it. It was in the left side. And then we had to open it in the below, like other source media, then they can found the animal families. For example, like if you click on the plus, then it will open like a pop-up. And then you can see, okay, mammal, this one I'm looking, that means people are, I'm carrying the people. They're listening, they want to find something. So, and now, interesting thing. So we discuss, and then if you go to the species and then you just click on the animal, whatever it is. So, and the, if, if it is a bird, we collected the bird songs. It's not our collection. We just took it with the collaboration of, uh, I forgot the name, European. Anyway, Zenokanto, sorry. We collected the, those are available and we just, with the collaboration with them, with the song, you can just listen to the song. And if you have a, like, one to description, the description is there in below. And if you go scrolling down, then you can see the map of this species, where this occur and different color says different things. So, and not only that, and then we found, okay, people are living also say, oh, do you have a something others? They don't want to click, they want to get more information. That's why we develop these things. What is the similar, like we say Kingfisher and other Kingfisher will be below. Just click other one, then it will be popping up for other people. And, and then we found some people say, okay, is it possible to adding some Wikipedia page because they want to, like those people are really interested, they want to read the Wikipedia because it's easy. And then we just making this kind of popping up Wikipedia and you can just click on this species, same species is popping up and then it will like whatever it is they want to read, but you are still in the app. So this is the, uh, today's morning I discussed with uh, some of you. It's interesting thing is for the map. When we released or preparing the, um, like uh, we preparing this app, we found this interesting thing. Our first map based on the district, very small places in the country. Can you see the right map? Can someone answer? Okay, this map. This is our actual map, what we developed by R. This is the a released map. So you, I can tell you, we developed this map. We want to give the people interactive way which animal is be, be, um, like around you with animal is five kilometers or 10 kilometers. And then we found some people are following to collect geckos and other animal for poaching. So we had to discuss with the forest responsibilities, those people are working and they said, okay, hello, we, you have to change this or you have to pick it out, the map. Because due to this kind of, interesting thing because they're also following, okay, where they can found this species. And that's why we just make it 
this map is a little bit bigger area, although we develop this kind of right side map. Okay. So, and then we found some people says, okay, app is nice, but we wanted to share our picture or every day what we can see. So this is our uh, like home button. You can just go, you can upload your image and you can share your feelings, whatever it is. This is like that. Other people can give love. It's like a Facebook and social medias. And then we detected, uh, I think I naturally also have it. Uh, we don't detect artificial intelligence. So we just use the free version from Google, but we still, it's, we didn't open it because it's uh, like 10,000 people can use 10,000 till 10,000 is free per month. But it's, if we go for more then we need to pay. That's why we just like close it. But it's still, it's, it's, it's in functional in our app. So we have our own uh, messaging system. So it's a controlling, like those people has access in this admin panel, they can answer people, general people can write to us. So more or less, we just, after getting the, all the data from the people and we develop this kind of system. Wait a second. So, and the home, like still we are working to develop the profile for the people and what people can upload. So their profile, what they're working, and then here it will be like counts, what animal they can see, offline counts and online counts. So they can get an Excel file in their email. So if someone says going somewhere else and they can want to count or they can do their research, and we want to, we will put it here, offline counts here and other things. So, and our idea is in this year, we want to collect like this way if like people are updating their data like or sharing their data we want to announce like t-shirt weekly and monthly very little gift or yearly some gifts this is our idea but it's still not implemented we are thinking so how far we are uh, my university team in Jogunath, they're really crazy these guys are really crazy mm, they have right i can say 80 percent of the flora and fauna data from the like more or less basic uh, mapping and other things data. So we, we, if we go for further process, we can just go for 80% for the species describing inside the app or our system. So it's not a big deal for us. So how, now question is coming, how we are dealing this interactive, these things. So interactive, these things is uh, not uh, difficult at all. It's really like we have our own server. We have our own server and it's a Google Play Store and it's an app. So we are controlling everything from our home. So it's, there is no, it's not that complex at all. So, and if you say like, okay, how we can specify even users and we have a backend panel, you can specify this user allowed to do that. If you can just like say, this guy pushing something crazy, you can just control him. Okay, no, he cannot update or you can just lock him. And in the data backend is like that, one solution foundation is something like that. Okay, and so I should uh, like, I have a couple of slides and before going to next things, I should say these university students are with us. So first I should say, it's a started this project from my university, Zagunath University, and, and then join other universities, Dhaka University, Jahangir Universities, and of course my working institution, Sengen Bank, those are supporting me at all, like a lot, and it's Smithsonian, and Natural Study and Conservation Club in Jagannath University <clears throat> and LMU and Bangladesh Bar Club. So all other institution also working with us. So, and last year when we released our app, it's uh, some like TV news and other things when we inaugurate our app. So some of the like guests and you can see some TV news and other things. It's just like one kind of marketing. And then so far what we did last year, we were the collaborator like wild mentor we have a like it team big it team and our it team were like we are collaborating with zoology olympiad it was the country so this is our banner in last year and i think it's uh, it's happened like 30 to 40 universities across the country and then it was the end end of with the champion of the country first second and third with some gifts so and right now we have we, our app Last night I checked it, it's a 6,100, but in, if you see the front end of the Wild Mentor app, I will send it in the link later, or if you want, I can just send it now. So 5,000 plus installed and a couple of thousands are using, 
And not only that, last year we also co-organizer of this uh, butterfly fair. I think some people are writing something. Okay, I will answer later. So we were the like co-organizer in this event, butterfly fair in the Zhangyang University with other organizations. So right now, I want to, I don't know, my IT director is here or not. I want to invite him, but I couldn't. So this is our new <clears throat> web portal. So web portal is like something uh, not complicated at all. So if you open, uh, like it's a, another version in the web. So if you open, uh, open our uh, web portal, you can see like this, just like nice picture. Wait a second, some people writing to me, even no. Okay. So, uh, so if you open this portal, I'm sorry, I need to close it. Hello. So, if you uh, open this portal, you can see this kind of interface, and then of course different groups of the animal family, like reptiles, amphibians, and butterflies. And if you just go down, then you can see these kind of things, uh, this kind of like different species. It's a randomly selected. So. For the birds, it's also like same randomly selected app. So in the app, we just like we are thinking. I'm like from my idea, I'm working in molecular data, like so. Idea behind of that, we are giving all the people permission to share this kind of image and detail in their Facebook and social media, and it will be like bilingual, my mother language because it's project from Bangladesh and in English, whatever they want. So this is the button, they can share. And second thing is, of course, uh, this distribution map. We don't want. We want to just give a very easy map for interacting. We don't want to be in a trap for the country, or like we don't want to break any kind of rule. So in the below of that, if you just click on that, it will be like Wikipedia page. If you want to collect the data from GB for other resources like for the encyclopedia, is specific species based. And if you want to check this kind of species data from Gene Bank, this should be available here. And if you want to go for red list, you can see, even if you want to work with barcode data, you can see from there. So this project is ready to go, but we are just still working. So our idea is this end of this year, we wanted to ensure you, our people can use this wild mentor app or web portal in all kind of media, like tablet, computer, or desktop, whatever you want. And Right now we are just struggling or not struggling, we are working. So how we can convert written knowledge to like YouTube videos, social media, that means uh, different kind of like YouTubers, we have some friends, those are working in this world with the graphics, like some scientists describe the species 50 years ago, we just like say, okay, taking a couple of pictures and making one or two minutes video and posting it. So we are trying this, these things and we already have like 50 to 60 videos and I'm just waiting for 100, then I will say, okay, hello, this is here, but still we are coming. So, and for the identification, those people are uploading their picture. Right now we didn't use the artificial intelligence to taking out the information because if you upload a picture, we will automatically asking where like GPS location or you have to because we have some condition if you want to update you have to give the information so we will get geo location that means then we want to our idea is use artificial intelligence to taking out the information from this or that species those will be default then we can manually correct so this is the idea and yeah as i said we will go with all the media like tablet computer and other things so and Interesting thing, you will love it. This project or other projects, no funding at all till today. It's self-financed. And yeah, so our IT team personally, just like when we are working, we paid some very little money to our IT team, but other people not non-paid. That means voluntary, voluntary work till today. If you know something, just help, raise your hands. That's the message. So I want to share one of my colleagues is he's here for the announcement of IT. Can I uh, go back to the panel? Hello. Hello. Um, 
Can you, you just can you just add uh, one of my colleague? He's uh, from IT director. Shah is here. He's already here. He should be. Anyway. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, what's his name? Shah Sakib. He should be here. Ah, uh, there he is. All right, I'm promoting him to panelists. Mm -hmm. You can promoting him. So in the meantime, he's uh, like, okay, you can just connect him. I'm just opening something. So this is. Can you see my screen? We can see your screen, yeah. Okay, I'm uh, just in the meantime, I'm just taking time. This is our coming blog, uh, like online things. So this is the message. So as I said, you can go down, down you can see the species, whatever it is. So you can just like say, okay, I want to see this, like for example, this is this one you wanted to see. Okay, so this is the idea. This is the picture of the species and so description and of course the map and below now Wikipedia other things will be added one by one. And of course it's if we have a here also one loop you can see. So you can see the loop like it's the same genus of species. You can see like group means we are just like little bit genus like all the snakes are here. That means we want to keep you inside of the science. Okay. And, <clears throat> and question is you can say okay why what is the perspective for citizen science our idea is we try to keep the people inside of this to giving that uh, like collecting the data and we couldn't keep the people inside so our idea right now is other way around we are giving the people lots of things this and that and of course we will putting below each picture did you see this species in your area okay so so we will collect this way the data or we will make an offline mapping. People will can go to the nature, they can collect. And idea behind of that, they are not going to kicking out the map or our application system very easily because there are lots of information. They will lose or this and that. That means like trade-off. Giving something, oh, if you delete, you will lose it. On the other hand, if you have it, you should give us some information. So we are just like trying to making a standard things for us. And and this is our previous website. I should say this is our previous uh, site. So we just like we had uh, some blog and we are just now writing. And this, as I said before, our those people are our strength. This is the these people are our strength. Those people are working since we starting our project from since 2012. And of course, uh, especially I have to mention this guy. This guy is really, really working on butterfly. He's really crazy. And he's the ornithology guy. And these are these, these both also in heart pathology section, mammalogy section. So they are working really hard, really hard. And I should show you just one small thing with that. This is our app. This is our WildMeter app in uh, Google Play Store. And yeah, this is the app you can see. Just if somebody has an interest or like to see, okay, what he is talking, just go and Google Play Store write wild mentor. So we have like 5,000, it should be 6,100 that you can update. So still we are working and um, my, our IT director is here. Shah is here. Can you hear me? Hello. Um, I think they might be muted. Oh, okay. Okay, so he, if he cannot hear me, then so I... form and allow to settle down, settle in the portal before and this is 11. And... I think, uh, is that, did I promote the right person to panelist? Okay, yeah. so I just continue, I'm just continuing. I think I, if possible in the end, I will try to add him or I'll tell you. Okay, so All anyway, right. so our idea is behind of that. We are. We don't say we, our idea is right because, like artificial intelligence, other thing, I naturalist, other people are working since long, and they have a lots of scientists. We want to collaborate. So, second idea is what our IT director wanted to say today for all of you. Like those people has an interest to work with your country, with your local language, with your data, or with your something. So we can provide support. Like if you say, okay. You want to put your data, your country data, and you can use it multilingual, and it will be provided like that. So backend panel we have, and we have just like major app and your country. So you will get you all the country location data you can work. So we want to help, and 
it would be really nice if my IT director is here. He can just explain very well. So, and second thing is, I'm also working with citizen science data. It's a GBIP data. It's a last month. One of, uh, I think, can someone display has a problem? I got some messages. Uh, can, can you see me, my screen? Yep, we can see your screen. Okay. Yes, no so problem. We see it really okay. well. Okay, so this is our last month. Uh, our, one of my colleagues in, my, in our research team, he published. It's a from GB data, mostly from GB data and our data. So ecological modeling. So what's the present status or ecological habitat suitability of this species? What was the last glacial maxima habitat suitability of this species? So we can provide also support for the research. Not only that, like, okay, collecting data, this and that. So we are here. And okay, so... Right now, I want to summarize more or less last slide. So this is the very small project in Bangladesh is the starting project. And we are trying to adjust with new media technologies. And we are trying to organize some programs. And we are trying to do something for the nature and of course, conduct it with all of you. So so idea behind that we are just baby today. And maybe it will grow up or maybe it will die. So more or less. And I want to thank my team. Those people are really, really working since the starting until today without asking not a single coin of the money. Just like say, okay, we want to do something for the nature. Thank you. Thanks to all. Now I'll be happy to uh, answering some question. I, I will open the chat box and can someone pass the questions? I will be happy to answer. We had one question come in for you. Um, e E. Yoon Kim asked, um, how do you deal with the quality of data? One okay. of our biggest difficulties is sorting through data when there's a lot of data points. Okay, so first of all, I should say like we have a big team. Those people are working like at least three people in each group, like Lepidotrema, like say reptiles and others. So we have a basic mapping. Basic mapping, that means this part of the species are existing, this species, this part of the country, existing this species and that species. So first we are sorting by these experts, student experts. Those are working in this area since a couple of years. So by, like this way, we are just dealing with the quality of the data. And for the, from the people, those people say yes or no. That means still uh, uh, like say, general people when uploading the data, how we will deal is still, it's still we are not ready to deal with that because uh, our server is not ready to move. We will move to cloud, then we will open these things. Another person asked you, um, does your project upload into the GBIF database? So any more question? Um, yep, someone asked if your project uploads into GBIF. Uh, no, still we are not, no, still not. So I'm curious about the maps. Does he use Google route from another source? I'm not sure it doesn't work in China because we are just using R. For the map, we are using simply R. ggplot2 or ggplot2 is the best. So you're just simply coding by R, nothing else. It's R mapping. And yeah, if you need help, just write to me or write to us. I will uh, provide this email to our uh, R guy who is working in the Smithsonian in Colombia. I will, uh, okay. How easy to upload another country? I don't think so it will be a big problem. Uh, yeah, in China, they have some problem for these things. But if, you, if you're working instead of China, I'm... I don't think it will be a big problem because you are the you are uploading the data from inside of the country. That means you have a right. It should have it. Can easy it would be update another country. Yes, of course. We are we are ready to help you. China, I have to check the that my, my IT director could be the best person to answer this question. I am quite optimistic it will not be a big deal. But China, I need to check. Only the China country I need to check. I am I don't know the inside of the country. But other country, it will be really easy because our whole system is ready to for other country. If idea will be like that, if you're using Pakistan, then algorithm will check, do they have Pakistani data 
in the system if they have it then they will ask uh, like that the algorithm will be developed or we have we have it algorithm like that if when you open an app it will by default it will check your country geolocation it's, it's it's it will automatically checking and if we check the your country geolocation then it will hitting the data algorithm okay this is the uh, like for example myanmar someone asking so it will hit the myanmar and it will taking the data myanmar bilingual like my like own language and english or whatever it is they will take the own data set but system will be the same and yeah that's the way how we are dealing algorithm we already wrote it down so country wide algorithm already ready yes uh i i, I didn't check it for myanmar in i naturalist uh, for, that's a reality um uh, i don't know what should i say i i didn't check the algorithm in reality is that i didn't check the algorithm i need to check it i need to check the algorithm one line by line then i can tell you the i naturalist algorithm what is inside or what is outside I can, I can I don't want to answer without reading the algorithm. Any more question? Hello. All right. I don't, I don't think we have any other ones. So um, thank you so much for your presentation. I learned a lot, and um, I'll yield the floor over to Adrian for our next introduction.